Good morning, it's Tuesday morning. It's the uh, end of August, very last day of August, I think. So the September challenge starts tomorrow. If you're getting involved, let me know. Um, I need to look back at what I said I was gonna do because I can't even remember. Um, I know it was cutting out biscuits. That's the stressful bit. Anyway, back to today. I have already opened up. I've put my signs out. I've got some new ones. I think I've only got them in the big size though. Um, which I don't sell online. They are sort of French style vintage. They're pretty cool. Um, but I have got some new of the 30 by 40 centimeter ones, which I need to add to my website. So I need to do that later. Um, I've got a couple of thank yous to say for people who ordered on my website. And I will look back, I'm pretty sure it's Julie. It's somebody else, but I will check. Um, and I've got an Etsy order to pack. And then I've got a load of car boot stuff to sort out. I've got to make a car boot sort of list so I know what I paid out. Um, I've got a lot to do today, so I better get on. It's Julie and Karen. They've both ordered wax melts from me, which smell amazing. But thank you very much for your orders. I'll get those packed today and in the post after work. I've just had to shut my shop door. I like to keep it open. It's less of a physical barrier for customers, but they're drilling out there today. So don't enjoy that. To be fair, I do shut it like if I'm doing vlogs or if I'm having my lunch. Just give me a bit of warning with the bell. <laughs> um, but otherwise I like to keep it open right what I'm doing now is I've got some more of these uh, local prints in so I'm going to add those to my stock levels on my website get those out in the box and then do the same with some of the metal signs that are back in stock it's about 5 to 12 and I've only had one sale but it was a decent one so not complaining I sold that lavender rose Tea set that I showed you the other day. I meanwhile, while people were browsing, I've added the signs that were already listed, updated the stock levels on those, and then I've got a pile of new ones that I need to take photos of and upload and bloody blah. But that might be tomorrow at this rate. The one and the day is flying by. Um, I've had a few people in, I've had a couple of sales, I've put those signs out, and um have my lunch. <sighs> Breathe for a minute. Right, I'm going to start sorting through this car boot stock. Um, for those of you that sell on Etsy, um, what do you think of the fees? Stall69 UK on Instagram broke down the fees this morning in his post on Instagram and um, I knew that they were really high and that, that's what's been putting me off selling on there along with the whole tax thing but um <clears throat> I've never really exactly worked it out and it was random I told you it's not always on every sale so you get a standard sale fee and then you get this extra if they decide to advertise on Google then you get an extra fee which comes out of the blue um which is quite high um so it's really put me off selling let's see uh, and I used to love it used to love it love it love it so for now while I've got the shop I'm just gonna crack on and uh, work on my website and uh, sell as much as I can through the shop when I no longer have the shop who knows what's next right do you want to see some stuff that I picked up on Sunday yes is the correct answer so while there's nobody in I will start showing you um I got this Blackbush Irish whiskey water jug 
I got this raw beautiful colour. I love turquoise, it's my favourite colour. So nice pottery vase. A bit of Denby. Can't go wrong with a bit of Denby. I don't know, I keep finding all the Egyptian stuff lately, but it's been selling, so I've got that one and that one. Rather nice. I've got a big fox, wooden fox. It's handsome, isn't he? I've got a couple of wooden parrots. Just like that. Um, an interesting little wooden box like this. I would say it's Indian. It's very light. It's painted. Oh, bonus, some stamps. Um, an onion pot. Do you know what it is? It's an egg coddler. It's a big one though. That's a big one. Uh, I got these gorgeous salt and pepper pots. See? Fishy fishies. I think they're gerbil. Yeah, I think they are. Um, beautiful little silver box. Um, again, turquoise attracted me. One of these weird sort of large goblet things. I bought some of these at a car boot once. I got three, I think, and they were filled with corks. And my husband was like, why have you bought those? And I saw the three glass, I don't know, goblet things and all the corks and made a nice tidy profit. Um, I've already put these over here. I got another little pear, salt and pepper made in Japan. This one has got like a blob of glue or something. It doesn't seem to come off. That's a shame. And then <laughs> random, oh no, hang on. Let me just show you this guy first, the mud man got him and then random buy of the day probably I got five gnomes <laughs> they're like plaster of Paris I guess there's some sort of kit kids kit maybe and I, they had loads of them and I just picked out five um don't know why I just felt like it it's a good enough reason isn't it had a few more people in so that's good um a couple more things to show you I got this nice glass vase modernish but just still stylish i got a set of six wine glasses again modern but it's always nice to have a set of six to sell this gorgeous green glass vintage vase uh, jug i got this modern sort of lantern um the handle is a little bit can you see like that but still that should sell easy enough this gorgeous letter rack look at that or magazine rack i should say something rattling around in the bottom of that isn't that lovely and an ice bucket and there's more <laughs> okay i'm losing track with what i've shown you and what i've said but never mind we'll carry on i've got three teapots a light blue one, a turquoise one, and a yellow one. Just standard stock for my teapot shelves. A couple bits of Port Merion. Um, I've got this lovely glass paperweight. It's just a little bit, can you see there? It's almost like the film on the outside is scuffed or something, but it's still really pretty. Uh, it is smart. Let's have a look. It's got a stick on the bottom. Made by Le Lafon Lafon glass. I think I need stronger glasses. I've only just got these. Um, some little cocktail forks. They're cute, aren't they? I think that's a full set there. Some. Vintage but more modern stainless steel cake forks. Um, a simple photo frame. A couple of wooden toys. So this one of like a steam engine and this one of a roller. And 
box. Do you remember that mystery box that I had? Well, this is similar. It's not quite as the same. It's got a little bit of damage there. But I need to remember how to get into it. <laughs> a few more bits. Um, try not to bore you with all my hauls all the time. Oh, you're on a slant. Is that better? I got a couple of little lanterns, modernish things, not particularly special. Uh, a couple of cute little owls, look at that one, isn't that gorgeous? Really pretty, it's lost one of its tusks, but still gorgeous. Simple white teapots, a couple of Denby teapots, this brown one, and this, I've never seen this before. I assume this is a teapot, it's got a flat bottom. Underneath it says juice. You have a cute little thing, isn't it? It's got the green lid, the yellow bottle, and the blue inside. Nice. A couple of bits of glassware. Pretty little engraved vase and a tall engraved jug. And finally, probably finally for today. I've still got some more stuff to sort through, but I need to sort of get my head straight. Um, I will show you questionable buy of the day. <laughs> it's a donkey teapot. I mean, I couldn't leave it behind, could I? Could I? It's quarter to four. Um, I'm still trying to sort through stock. Oh, didn't show you these, did I? A uh, present for Lex for my birthday. She sent me a couple of pairs of earrings. That was nice. And some low-carb bread. Um, yeah. Pretty, aren't they? Right, where was I? So easily distracted by pretty things. Um, still got stuff to sort tomorrow. Um, I've still got to finish off my car booth lists. I have got things to do. So, I'm going to love you and leave you for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up, some comments. Always, always appreciated. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed the video, why not subscribe? Um, take care, stay safe, and I will see you very soon.